In our last example, we have a teacher pitching, picking a student at random from a class of 14 girls and 12 boys. So our two events here are A being the uh, event that the teacher picks a girl, and B is the event that the teacher picks a, vo a boy. And the question is, are A and B independent? Now, I'm kind of setting up uh, a test here to see whether uh, you're falling into one of the misinterpretations of independence. Um, so a lot of people will be tempted to say that these events are independent because you think, okay, if you pick a girl, you can't pick a boy. That's not the right interpretation of the word independence. Let me show you quickly the computations. So if we use computations, we're going to check whether the probability of A is equal to the probability of A given B because that's our original definition of independence. So our probability of A is the probability of picking a girl. Well, there's 14 girls total. Uh, there's 14 girls and there's uh, 26 students total. I'm getting that by adding 14 plus 12. So 26, 14 out of 26 is the probability that we pick a girl. Now, what's the probability of A given B? That's the probability that if you know that you picked a boy, what's the probability that you picked a girl, which is zero? Well, is 14 over 26 equal to zero? Of course not. So that tells us that the events are not independent. In fact, they are dependent. So right away, just from the definition, from the original calculations, we know that the events are, in, are dependent. Sorry, I almost said the wrong thing there. Um, there's a way to think about this intuitively, and I hope that you uh, kind of appreciated that as soon as you read the original problem here. So the way to think about it intuitively here is if you know that B is true, if you know B is true, in other words, if you know that the teacher picked a boy, then you have some new information about whether A might be true. You have very strong new information, information about whether A might be true. Because if you know that the teacher picked a boy, then you know for sure that the teacher did not pick a girl. So you've got some new information about whether the teacher might have picked a girl. The information is that that did not happen. So in fact, these events are disjoint. There's no overlap between them, which means that if you know one is true, then you know the other one is false. You do get some in new information, which means they're not independent, which means they're dependent. So just to remind you, you can approach this problem sort of using your intuition, if your intuition is very well trained, um, or using the formulas if you want to be a little more careful. If you use the computations, we're just checking from the original definition of independence. We gave that as the definition uh, in the first slide of this lecture. Checking whether P of A is equal to P of A given B. P of A, what's the probability that we pick a girl? Well, there's 14 girls out of 26 total students. What's the probability of th that we pick a girl given that we picked a boy? That would be zero, because if we picked a boy, we couldn't have picked a girl. Now, those two numbers didn't come out to be equal to each other, so that's how we know that they're dependent. That's how you do it by the computations. You can also do it by intuition. If you know that B is true, that changes your uh, estimation of whether A is true. Because if you know that the teacher picked a boy, then you know that the teacher did not pick a girl. So um, that certainly gave you some new information there, because now you know that A is false. So the, um, that tells you that the events are not independent, that they are dependent. Uh, that's uh, all a fancy way of saying that these events are disjoint. They're t they don't overlap each other, so you, if you know that one is true, then you know that the other is false. So that wraps up our lecture on independence. These are the probability lectures here on educator.com. My name is Will Murray. I hope you'll stick around for our next lecture, which is on Bayes' role. Take care. Bye-bye.